Hello, hello, hello. It's Kenny Evans here, another car video. The title of this video is How to Tell if a Woman is Deceptive. So, obviously, this is all about um, telling if a woman is somebody who you could trust and therefore be able to build or keep in your life. You know, there's a lot of signs and things you should uh, look for. Obviously, red flags you shouldn't ignore. Even if you're just hooking up with a girl, but especially if you were looking for a long-term relationship, you know, you got to be um, constantly vetting these women from when you meet them to whenever you guys finally break up or stop seeing each other. You know, so it's very important that you are aware of the signs uh, that she is deceptive and uh, other bad habits she may have, you know, so... I'm going to get into this and help you guys be able to make better decisions with uh, vetting women and uh, picking women, you know, so here we are. Let's begin. So obviously a big one is her actions don't match, match her words. She's probably saying, oh, I love to work out or she is into working out initially when you're talking to her. As you kind of talk to her and you guys start hanging out a little more, you never see her work out. <laughs> and she's just naturally built very well. But you know in the back of your mind, down the line, if this thing gets anywhere serious, she is not going to look the same and she's not going to be appealing. You know what I mean? And that's a huge thing if you're looking for a relationship, you know, something serious you know, like that long term, you know, and it's like you definitely don't want to be with somebody who's, you know, essentially lying to you. And she talks about like she she's into working out. But then as you got to know, her, she's not. Ah, Obviously, that could be a huge problem for you. Um, another one. She says she likes to cook. You know, she says she's taught it's about how, how good a cook she is and how she can cook all this stuff and cook all that stuff. And again. There's a lot of stuff that gets you intrigued and gets you to interested in her. But then whenever she, you, you know, you've gotten to know her over time, so it shows that, she, well, she shows that she does not like to cook. And cooking is not one of her strong suits. Cooking is not one of her strong suits. <laughs> you know, so... It is not one of her strong suits, and she actually doesn't cook. She likes to just Uber eat stuff <laughs> and do all that good stuff, you know. So it is um, very important that a woman that you're dealing with, a girl, whatever you want to call them, their actions match their words. What a day, what a day, what a day. And then <laughs> I'm just thinking about a lot of stuff. But yeah, then we have constantly making excuses. A woman constantly making excuses for, um, let's say, maybe she you, you've wanted to go out with this girl. You've attempted to set up a date. And she says, oh, you know, maybe the day of the date, you set it up. She's, oh, well, my cat died. Or, you know, she makes excuses as to how come she doesn't do, uh, maybe she doesn't work out. So, oh, I just don't have time. And, you know. I'd rather hang out with my friends or I look good now and I don't want to put in that work and all that stuff. You know what I mean? She constantly makes excuses. You know, and she doesn't stick to what she's saying because she's she's making the excuses. Obviously, those are things that you always got to keep in mind. Um, you don't want somebody who doesn't stick to their word and is constantly making excuses for things that they are not doing, especially if it's things that you want her to do and things that she says she wants to do, but she doesn't do it. 
you know, obviously that's a sign. Somebody who you can't trust. You know, so always keep that in mind. Somebody who's constantly making excuses. And this is, sure, this is generally about women, but it could be used for any relationship. You know, you want somebody who you could trust. You know what I mean? So, the next one is she's very secretive. Again, you know, they are constantly having uh, reasons for not doing things. One way, again, they could have made, been making excuses. Another way is, oh, well, I just don't feel like talking about it as to reasons they're not doing it. You know, working out, oh, well, I just don't feel like doing it. Don't worry about all the other stuff. I just don't want to talk about it. Or cooking is, oh, yeah, you know, I just don't feel like talking. About, you know, just don't want to talk about anything. I guess that's also part of communication, you know, not being having very good communication. You know, because it's like if you guys are close and you're cool, you should guys be able to talk about stuff like that, especially those little things. You know what I mean? Um, But if they don't want to talk about it, obviously there is because there's not a lot of trust, not a lot of respect and they don't want to let you in, you know, and they just obviously don't have a very high attraction for you, you know, but ultimately, you know, it's it's it's. It's if somebody cannot give you a reason for what they're doing, it's just, they just can't be trusted, you know. You know that's what I believe. They just can't be trusted, you know. It just doesn't work, you know. What I mean, so. But, huh, it is all good because at the end of the day, you know, you shouldn't take that person serious. That's the bottom line. So it's it's a it's a blessing in disguise. But another thing is they blame you for the things that they do. <laughs> you know, if you think about the whole not working out. So well, if you would go with me, then I'd work out more. Or cooking is like, well, if you cooked first and, you know, or if you cooked with me, then I would be able to cook more. And sure, some of these things you can do with her. But if she's talking about she's cooking or she likes to cook, but she doesn't ever cook. And now she wants to blame you for the reason she doesn't cook. (laughs) It's manipulation, deceptive. It's everything. You know, that is obviously a huge red flag. You got to keep in mind and you got to be careful with women like that. You know what I mean? You do. You definitely got to be careful because that is, uh, it could be a potential, well, that will be a potential problem down the line. You know, so. Oh, man, oh, man. It's been a busy day and long day. <laughs> but yeah. Last but not least here, she does not stick to her word. Again, this is kind of like the making excuses. Um, I guess example because if she is saying that you know she would work out but this and that constantly having coming up with something and never doing it I mean this is <laughs> obviously and especially if it's in the beginning you guys are getting to know each other just talking you know and I get it you don't want to have to you know feel like you have to be like a, a, a her dad or her boss but if some if she says she's gonna do something she should do it (laughs) she should do it you know regardless of the excuses and all that good stuff and it's just it it shouldn't be a problem you know um she should stick to her word just like you should of course you got to lead by example you know stick to your word and be the man who you say you are and say what you're gonna do but if she's not going to be willing to do it, um, you have to move on or correct her. Of course, first, let her know, hey, if you say you're going to do something, do something, you know, and um, and then move on if she doesn't, you know. So that's pretty big. And these are all little re- reasons and examples of a deceptive women. Of course, there's so many more. Obviously, I didn't want to go into all the different reasons, but these are big ones. You should notice in the beginning 
and either correct from the beginning or move on before things get too serious, you know? So that is all I got for y'all today. Um, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. Uh, and of course, if you find value in what I said, donate. I appreciate all donations. And please let me know what other topics you want to talk about. Please, I want to be able to make this channel more for you guys. I enjoy talking about it. I enjoy, you know, giving out my knowledge. But it, I want to know what you guys want to know about more specifically. You know what I mean? So just uh, let me know what other topics you'd like me to talk about. But, um, yeah, I guess that's all we got. Of course, till next week. I'll see y'all then. And always remember, a strong man is a happy man. Peace.